Hi, I'm Nan Simonson. I'm a health coach with a lifestyle medical practice. I wrote Aging Powerfully, my book's out there in the corner, about aging with power as we go into our later years. I'm 72. I'd like to think my later years may be in the 80s, 90s, and maybe beyond. So we talk about the pillars of lifestyle medicine here, and one of the pillars is whole food, plant-based eating and lifestyle. I am going to be, speaking of lifestyle, spending Saturday with my husband and my grandsons, nine and 12, just about to turn a year older, um, at games, baseball or soccer. I don't know who's playing what, but I'm able to get both games in at the same time. They live about an hour and 15 minutes west of me. They live on a peninsula in the on the Pacific coast called um, Palos Verdes Estates. And they don't eat like I eat, and, or my husband. So we always bring our lunch with us. There'll be uh, time to eat. There'll be a necessity to eat between these games. And I decided, just wash my hands because I'm gonna be handling that. Um, I decided to do an egg salad. And what I tend to do, I'm not much of a recipe developer. I go to Google and I put in best whatever vegan and then I start looking at everything and then I put things together. But I saw this recipe and I'm not going to put anything together. I'm going to put it pretty much the way she has it. This is Terry Edwards of Eating Plant Based. And so it's eating or eat, eatplant-based.com. And it's an egg salad that uses something I really like, and that's black salt because it's rather eggy. So let me get on with it. I have a block, a 16 ounce block of tofu. I use organic, I use firm or extra firm, and I pressed it to get extra water out of it. So I could have done this in a blender, but the blender base is so narrow that I was afraid that it would get, um, too mashed in there. I want it to be chunky the way it would be if I did all of this in a bowl, which I could, and but I'm not. And this has tofu, but it also has garbanzo beans. I like mixing beans and I love garbanzo beans. I have a not chicken salad that uses garbanzo beans and I have a not egg salad on my site that uses tofu. Well, here I'm using both and I'm, I'm pleased about that and I have I'm gonna put half of the generous half a cup that I chopped of celery and same amount of green onion in here to get mashed up with it and then we're going to do the rest just by hand so I'm sorry if this were zoom we wouldn't have to put up with the noise but give it a minute <laughs> I think that's about all I want to do. Nom, 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 nom. Yep, that's it. So I'll put this in my bowl. And if you're wondering about this, this is a Vitamix base onto which it's the Ascent series. There are two of the series I call Vitamix and asked about this that would allow the adaption, adaption um, that are, will, are adapted to their, um, their uh, food processing base. Isn't this cool? And this is one of them. So I bought the base, uh, well, I have this base and then I bought the um, food processor. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Just move it up. And here we go. See, this is nicely, I'll show you in a minute, excuse the noise. This is nicely broken up because I want texture when I'm eating something. Even an egg salad has texture and we've left extra texture by including this chopped celery and onion. And then I'll tell you what else I'm putting in. All right, interesting, huh? Frozen peas, they could have been fresh, but they were frozen. I ran them under hot water to defrost them, could have just left them out. 
make sure they are drained. So this is gonna give me a nice amount. And what I'm going to do is bring this with me in a container and then bring lettuce cups, some, some um, leaves of romaine lettuce, and I'll eat it that way. I may make my husband a sandwich, but because I'm gluten-free, I have to be gluten-free. Uh, there aren't a lot of breads that I like. I've got some wraps that I could use, but I'd have to make a really big wrap to not have it falling all over. So I'll just put it in the lettuce or maybe just eat it or just maybe scoop it up with the lettuce. So then I'm going to add a mayo. Um, Terry has on her site, go to eatplant-base.com. She has marvelous recipes. She's really good. Um, and she has recipes for, she has, yeah, actually a couple of mayonnaise recipes. This called for a quarter to a half a cup of mayonnaise. So I have this mayonnaise that I tried that I like a lot. You can watch for it. Another mayonnaise. Um, and I made it about five days ago and I can't remember from whom. So you can just watch for that and see what I come up with on my videos. But I will also, and some of you are gonna say, Nan, how could you? And it's true, how could I? I'm gonna add a little bit of vegan A's. And the problem with vegan A's is that it is a processed food. I shouldn't even be doing this. I should have just made more mayo, but I didn't have the time. So that's my excuse right now. And I had this in the back of the refrigerator. Okay, so I've added some, um, the moisture, the, the um, mayonnaise. I also am adding a quarter of a cup, she, a cup, she asked for a, half, a third of a cup, I didn't want quite that much, of Dijon mustard. But you can see also that what I do, this is, this is Dijon and the whole grain Dijon. I love to see the grains. I like the fact that they're whole mustard seeds. So I mix the two, I do that all the time for texture, for color, for interest. And then I'm adding, no, I'll put it right on here. All right, turmeric, to which I've added ground pepper. And I put them in together to remind you that if you are using turmeric, you want to always have black pepper with it. It makes it more bioavailable. I'm adding nutritional yeast that's going to give it a bit of, well, more umami. And then this is the, I wanna say pièce de résistance, but this is Kala Namak, Kala Namak. And that is what gives it that eggy flavor. So we can call this an egg salad. It is black salt. And what makes it black is a mineral, a, a sulfur, sulfurous. It's a, and when it's ground, I just, this has, I got this on Amazon and it's from Pure Himalayan. Well, it's, oh, so from Sunshed or Sun, Sund, Sundhead, S-U-N-D-H-E-D, Pure Himalayan Salt. And if you look at it, let me give you, it is, if you see that, it's, um, you can see that it is uh, darkened. They call it black, it's not black black. And it comes uh, quite often with a grinder and it took quite a few grinds before I got a half a, or a teaspoon of it. You can use less, you could not use it, but you'll miss that, that nuance that it gives. All right, I am thinking that usually I would have added the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients to mix them better. And I didn't do that. Um, so it may not be mixed maybe as completely or as well. You know what's funny? If my eyes were closed, I haven't made, okay, whole food plant-based, I don't eat animal products, I haven't gone on five years now. But as if I used to have hens and I used to make egg things all the time, especially I was famous for um, deviled eggs and I would make dozens and I used to own a Tupperware franchise and have big parties and one of my things was the deviled egg tray because they were golden, golden yellow. Well, I, again, 
don't eat anything from animals, including eggs. I get my protein from plants. I get my food from plants. But I'll tell you something. As I'm turning this, I knew when it was well blended because I could feel that it was kind of um, adhering uh, in clumps. And I can smell. This is interesting. I can really smell this as if as if I was working with egg yolks. Now, if you don't like eggs, you're gonna go, ew. But no, this is, this is actually quite cool. Mm. Terry is really good. She nailed this. I like the amount of, of um, mustard I used. And I'll, I'll note that amount, one quarter cup instead of a third. Maybe a third would have been even better, I don't know, but I worried a little about that. And this is it. This is going to go with me to the ballpark and we'll put it in a little core chest with ice. And, but unlike egg, it's, or even real mayonnaise that, well, yeah, real mayonnaise that has egg in it that can go bad. Um, this is basically all plant food and um, it's gonna make a nice lunch. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. My channel is one in which I find recipes and then kind of sometimes make them my own, but sometimes shamelessly copy. And ma'am, Terry deserves a thumbs up for this one. Have a great day. I know I'm going to. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.